Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about Morley Window Reforms, which is Act of 1909. <clears throat> this is known as Morley Window Reforms because at that time, Lord Morley was the Secretary of State and Lord Window was the Viceroy of India. This is an important information for the exam. It has about six points, which are important points, and we will see one by one. First point is that it considerably increased the size of legislative council. At that time, they had legislative council at central as well as provincial level. And in both area, uh, by this act, they have increased the size. In the central legislative council, the number of members was increased from 16 to 60. So, earlier the Central Legislative Council had only 16 members. Now, uh, after the amendment of the Act or after the coming of 1909 Morley Mindo reforms, the number was increased to 16 number. And in case of Provincial Legislative Council, also there was increase in the number as the number of members was not uniform in different council it was proportionately increased. So, different council of uh, provincial legislative council uh, will be having different number of members. So, based on the number they are having, it also increased to a certain number. So, both in central and provincial legislative council, number of members had been increased. The second point is that the official majority in the central legislative council is retained but allowed the provincial legislative council to have a non official majority okay so uh, both in the central legislative council as well as in the provincial legislative council they had official members as well as non official members so uh, official members will be having majority in both central and uh, provincial legislative council till the coming of this act so after the morley minto reforms it was allowed to have non official majority in the provincial legislative council whereas in case of the central legislative council they retain the official majority okay so there is a remarkable change in the members official members uh, of provincial legislative council it ha they allowed to have non official majority in the provincial legislative council whereas retained the official majority in central legislative council so that is the second point first point was they increased the si size of members in legislative council of both provincial and uh, central and second point is that in the provincial legislative council they allowed to have non official majority okay next move on to third point which says that uh, in by this act the members were allowed to ask supplementary questions and also move resolutions on budget so these are some of the functions of the legislative council so in this members were allowed to ask supplementary question and also they allowed to move resolutions on the budget so this was a new function allowed to the member of legislative council so before that there was no power to ask supplementary questions or they never allowed to move resolutions on the budget after the morley window reforms they were allowed to ask, ask supplementary questions as well as move resolutions on the budget so that was the third point next is the fourth point <coughs> so for the first time in the executive councils of the viceroy and governors allowed indian association okay and for the first time sat Tendra Prasad Sinha became the first Indian to join Viceroy's Executive Council. He was introduced as a law member. And so this was a historic appointment because till that time there was no Indian association in the uh, Viceroy's as well as Governor's Executive Council. So for the first time they allowed or they uh, associated Indians to the Viceroy's or Governor's Executive Council. So, Satyendranath Prasad Sinha became the first Indian to join these 
executive council and he at that time he was appointed as the law member so this is the fourth point first was they increase the number of members both in central and provincial council then second was in the provincial legislative council they allowed to have non official majority third point was members were allowed to ask supplementary questions and move resolutions on budget and fourth point was in the viceroys and governors executive council executive council indians were allowed the fifth point is the most important points which says that communal representation for muslims were allowed or separate electorate was introduced with this act so because of that the then viceroy lord mindo came to be known as the father of communal electorate so this is an important question for the exam usually asked who is the father of communal electorate electorate uh, the answer is lord mindo so communal representation by introducing separate electorate for the muslims was the idea of lord mindo through mindo morley reform so because of that he is known as the father of communal electorate and the final point is that it also provided the separate representation of presidency corporations so in that they also provided for the separate separate representation so under the separate representation representation they had presidency corporation chamber of commerce universities and zamindar so all these four section had separate representation in the uh, legislative as well as the Uh, provincial as well as the central legislative council okay so these all are the six points which are important of morley window reforms that's all thank you